Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by our friends at New Kia of Cape Coral. This afternoon, we'll tell you about Southwest Florida young professionals coming together to give back, a Riverdale High School bomb threat, and more. Today is Thursday, November 2nd, and this is the lunch break. The annual Gatsby Gala was started in 2016 as an opportunity for young professionals in the Southwest Florida community to come together and give back. This year, the event raised more than $14,500 during the four-hour event to award scholarships at FGCU. Peter Kuderman, the 2017 chairman and event organizer, stated that the average amount of debt that graduates from FGCU incur is $30,000. Over 150 young professionals from the community arrived to the borough's home and gardens dressed in Roaring Twenties garb to raise dollars and award students who have overcome major life obstacles. The brunch featured Corey Lazar, the lead morning anchor at Wink News, as the MC, and the Naples Herald awarded 40 under 40 recipients on stage. Kyle Siebel, owner of Millennial Brewing Company, was named Young Professional of the Year. Read more about the event at NaplesHerald.com. Authorities are still trying to figure out who left a bomb threat at Riverdale High School last week. Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers said they're seeking information on an October 23rd bomb threat made in the girls' bathroom at the school. The threat was noticed after school hours, written on a sink in black marker. Though school was not in session at the time, the threat did force the evacuation of students and staff who were on campus for after-school activities. A Crime Stoppers coordinator reminded the community that though it may have originated as a joke, the student cost taxpayers money to evacuate and search the school, and there will be a consequence for that action. Anyone with information related to the threat is asked to contact Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS or online at southwestfloridacrimestoppers.com. All tips are kept anonymous and information that leads to an arrest could be eligible for a cash reward. Hurricane Irma slowed down the real estate market in September, but the overall effects weren't as bad as feared. Sales were down 30 percent in the month of September, but still up overall for 2017, reports the Naples Area Board of Realtors. Hurricane Irma stopped nearly all real estate activity for about three weeks as the area was consumed by immediate preparations and recovery efforts. Real estate wasn't the only field affected. Tourism in the area saw a significant drop in the month of September, as did passenger traffic from Southwest Florida International Airport. September is traditionally the low point for real estate transactions and tourism in the area. And those sales that didn't happen in September aren't just going into thin air. Bill Coffey, broker manager of Amerivest Realty Naples, said their office saw more closings in the first week of October than it did for the entire month of September. In general, the expectations are that the hurricane only delayed housing decisions. It did not make the buyers cancel them. However, the impacts on the market will still be felt for a while to come. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.